What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to an all-new trailer breakdown, and a huge one, as we now have our very first look at the very first trailer for Stephen King's It. And it was a doozy, no pun intended, chock full of some super creepy moments and that one big jump scare at the end, showing us new versions of some classic shots and scenes, but really giving us a feel for the tone and setting of the movie, all of which we'll definitely discuss. But let's start right at the beginning, shall we? In this first scene, we see Bill Denbro folding a paper boat for his little brother, Georgie, who then goes on to sail it in a rainstorm. Ah, the 80s were a simpler time. Georgie loses the boat down a storm drain, and while searching, it pops up out of the sewer. This is a direct adaptation of the beginning of both the book and the miniseries, our first look at Pennywise in both, as the demonic clown lures Georgie in before killing him. We still don't know how Bill Skarsgård's portrayal of It will compare to the book or Tim Curry's version. I mean, Curry definitely played it with the malevolence, kind of masked in a good dose of creepy humor, but the original book really portrays the demonic clown as a being of pure evil, literally. And that scene will probably be what tells us the most about Skarsgård's performance, whether he'll opt for a little bit of the humor a la Curry or the ruthlessness and mental manipulation of the book. The next scene I want to highlight is really actually just the next couple of shots, as we get an introduction to the town of Derry, Maine, as the narration tells us where adults go missing six times above the national average and what happens to kids is worse. From the style of dress, the cars we see throughout, and the date on the missing poster featured in the trailer, it's pretty clear that this movie takes place in the 80s, rather than the book and miniseries original starting date of the late 50s and early 60s. And if you remember some of the miniseries of the novel, it re-emerges every 30 years or so, so this isn't super shocking, as when the book and miniseries came out, it was the late 80s and early 90s, so 30 years before that would have been the late 50s, early 60s. This also could have some huge implications for the future, as the novel and the miniseries were split into two parts, part one featuring the Losers Club battling it as children, and then 30 years later returning to face him again as adults. And some of you might already know this, but this It movie was originally planned as a duology, and very probably still is, with the original title being It Part 1, The Losers Club, so there is, or was, already a sequel planned out. My guess is this movie will focus squarely on the Young Losers Club, with maybe the ending or post credit scene being the losers returning to Derry 30 years later, or it reawakening 30 years later, just something to tease or show that there will be a sequel. Really quickly, going back briefly to the poster I mentioned in that scene, it says that Patrick Hochstetter has gone missing. Patrick is one of Henry Bauer's gang of bullies in the book that torment the losers throughout the novel, though he actually didn't appear in the miniseries. In the book, he's not a good dude. He's a psychopath that tortures and kills animals, and in a killing that had people less saying, oh my god, that's awful, and more saying, no, wait, stop, Patrick is attacked by a swarm of flying leeches before being dragged off and devoured by it. Whether that stays the same or not, Hochstetter's inclusion and the fact that he's missing are just other pieces of evidence that the new film might be a little closer to the book than the miniseries, at least in this regard. The next scene is a big one, as it reportedly shows the formation of the Losers Club as they come together and realize they've been seeing the same demonic entity in their own ways. In the book, they all saw what they feared the most, whether it was a werewolf for Richie Tozier, a mummy for Ben Hanscomb, Georgie's ghost for Bill, but we'll come back to that later. We don't know if the movie's necessary going to include all that shape-shifting, but I definitely hope so. Our next shot features another iconic location from the book, 29 Nebolt Street, an abandoned and rundown house where it first appeared to Eddie Kassbrack. In the trailer, Eddie is noticeably shown looking at something in fear right after the first shot of the house. There's a later scene in the trailer of the kids cornered by it, and also that seems to take place in the abandoned house, just judging by their surroundings in the scene. In the book, after multiple sightings of the clown in and around the house, the kids decide to go in and confront it, but it escapes actually through a, a toilet bowl. He kind of flushes himself down the toilet, if I remember correctly, which then leads them to explore the sewers, which also leads us to our next shot. This next scene with the slide projector was 100% as creepy as advertised, as the thing starts to move on its own, but the scene has even more importance as they seem to work out that it lives in the sewers then, and that presumably all the attacks have happened around an entrance to the sewers. We also get a good look at Pennywise's powers here, as he shows off not only the ability to shapeshift, but also to manipulate and possess inanimate objects. But a caveat there, it's kind of unclear if this is actually him possessing the projector or just his powers from the book of manipulating the children's minds using their fears and imagination. This also might be a pretty subtle reference to a scene from the miniseries in which it appears to Bill as Georgie in a photo album Bill's looking at before the album comes to life and begins flipping pages on its own. The rest of the trailer is mostly just 
action shots, but one in particular I want to point out briefly is the bloody sink scene, one of the most iconic and memorable scenes from the miniseries and the novel. The movie seems to have taken it up a notch, because while the miniseries bloody sink was literally just a blood bubble, this is a geyser of blood shooting up out of the drain, which is uh, more than a little bit of a manifestation of Beverly's biggest fear. And finally, our last scene. Bill at the bottom of the stairs in a flooded basement while his brother Georgie's ghost torments him, laughing slash screaming that Bill will float too. Pennywise's head slowly rises out of the water before the clown lunges at Bill in a pretty horrifying final jump scare. And I just really wanted to point that out because it's freaking terrifying, but it could also be a little bit of a reference to that Georgie scene where he speaks through the photo album, but the You'll Float 2 line should be ringing bells for any of you that are familiar with the source material. That's going to do it for this breakdown, though, but even still, I have way more questions than answers. I mean, will there be a duology? How will they defeat it, more like the miniseries or the more mystical version in the novel? Will we see the macroverse? All questions that I need answered, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for me here, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw and subscribe for more great content every single day. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.